Good morning students. Today we are going to see that how we perform the Ohm's law. As you all know that Ohm's law states that whenever there is a constant temperature and the current applies in the circuit is directly proportional to the voltage applied. That means the potential difference attached in the circuit. So from this we will see how to derive, how to get the verification of Ohm's law. First of all, we will come to see that what is the aim of our experiment. Here we are saying that the aim of experiment is to find the resistance of a given wire using Ohm's law. Now in this experiment, the resistance of wire is not given. That we have to calculate after to performing the experiment. The apparatus required for this experiments are voltmeter, ammeter, rheostat, battery and unknown resistance. Then after we will move to the theory of this experiment that you all know that V is directly proportional to I that is potential difference is directly proportional to the current when we remove this proportionality sign, we use R as a constant. So it becomes V is equals to R into I, that is resistance into current. Now we will come to the circuit diagram. Here, this is a battery, ammeter, voltmeter, unknown resistance key and this is the real stat. After that, we will draw a observation table. In this observation table, the first column will be the serial number. Second column, we will split into two. This is the voltmeter reading. At first, we will see the observed means the original reading which we take from the device. And then after, we will correct it by multiplying with the least count that is 0 0.05. Same thing will repeat with the ammeter reading. We will take the original reading and then after, we will correct it by multiplying 0 0.05 that is the least count. And at the last column, we will write that from Ohm's law, R is equals to V by I, that is the potential difference by current. And finally, by multiplying the corrected, uh, by dividing the corrected value, means R is equals to 4 into 0 0.5, 0 0.05 divided by 2 into 0 0.05. This will be cancelled and we will get 2 ohms. Whatever the procedure we have done here, that we will write it point-wise and finally we will write the calculation that will result whatever we have got the resistance and then after we will plot a graph. So let us see the actual experiment that how we are doing and what are the uh, devices and how we arrange it. Now, first of all, this is a battery. This is the main battery, main power supply or you can say the potential difference. The positive terminal of this battery will be added to the positive terminal of the voltmeter. From the negative terminal of voltmeter, it will be added to the, neg the positive terminal of the ammeter. Now, the negative terminal of the ammeter will go to the top of the rear stat. This is the rear stat where we can change the current in the circuit. Now, for this rear stat, let us note one thing very important that this is having three terminals. This one, the top one is the permanent terminal or we can say that it is a mandatory terminal. Here we have to connect the wire and these two are the optional. Either you connect in this terminal or in this terminal there is no problem okay so now 
from the negative of the ammeter it will go to the positive or you can say that the top of the rear start and from one terminal from the bottom we connect it to the key and this second terminal of this key will go to the negative terminal of the battery now we all know that whatever the resistance is connected that is always connected parallel to the volt meter so i have connected a wire having some length okay so length we will just find it out and after finding the resistance we'll find it by resistance by per length okay so let us start our experiment give the power supply and once we give the power supply now after seeing that, after giving the power supply here, you can see that we are getting some readings over here. We have to note the first reading. If here in the ammeter it is given 2, then here in a voltmeter we are getting 4. We will change with the help of the rear stat, we will change the reading and we set the point pointer of this ammeter somewhat in different values. For example, if I set it at 4, 4 a small division, then here we are getting near about 8. Okay, so this is how we take the actual reading. And as I have told you that, when we take the actual reading, we correct it by multiplying with the least count. Now, I would like to tell you about that what is a least count. If you will see the from 0 to 1, from 0 to 1, here 20 small divisions are there. From 0 to 1, there are 20 small divisions are there. That means one small division says about 1 by 20. Means one, by, one small division gives you the value of 1 by 20 that is 0 0.05 this is our least count so when we take the actual reading whatever the pointer will show the actual reading by setting with the rear stat then we multiply that actual reading by the least count that is 0 0.05 in this case so that will give you the corrected value and once we get the corrected value, we'll put it in the table. And finally, from the table, we calculate the value of R. Now, we have to repeat this experiment. We have to repeat this uh, by ta uh, taking the data two or three times. When we will take the two or three data, then after we'll calculate the value of R, that is the value of resistance from the given formula. And by that, after completing this one we will plot a graph now let us see that how we plot a graph if we will plot a graph between potential difference and current we have to take the current in on the x-axis and potential difference on the y-axis when you will take all the readings then the actual Observed readings you have to mark it here and finally you have to draw a straight line. This straight line gives you the confirmation that the resistance always remains constant. And this is how we confirm that Ohm's law, whatever it is, same. Okay? Thank you.